Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Um, sorry about this really awkward setup. We're like in the process of getting things moved because we're moving house. So this is kind of the only space I had. Um, this happened last time I did this um, kind of video but um, yeah I don't have anywhere else to film currently really like and get a full body shot in so this is gonna have to do um but for today's video i really wanted to do a uh, boohoo try on haul is it worth it for um maternity clothes um spurred on by the fact that i had to buy something to wear to a wedding um which when you're you know heading into your third trimester it's quite difficult but uh boohoo had some really good stuff they had a sale on as well so it was all really well priced um so let's just get straight into it so i'm literally just gonna pick grab and go i guess um <laughs> so this is the first thing let's have a look i literally the reason i look like this is because i got back from work my package was here and i thought i'm not waiting to open that so um Okay, this one's good. This one's actually really convenient that I opened this first. I bought like a big, this is huge actually. Like it's an oversized kind of smart-ish jacket because it's it's summertime, but we live in England, so you always need like a bit of a cover up. I thought it'd be nice for work, but it's really oversized. But um, I don't know how I feel about this. I may have bought it a size too big. I'm all about the oversized, but I think this might look a little bit like I'm wearing a dressing gown. Let me know what you think. Item number two is this stripy dress. It's kind of that, I don't really love this material that it's in, but let's give it a try and see what we think. Straight away, I'm not even going to do the belt up. <laughs> well, maybe I will. This is a no for me instantly. I hate the material, but if it was the perfect dress, I would have kept it. Um, I don't mind the frilly sleeves, but like... There's, uh, there's not enough coverage here for me and my wide load. In the front it's fine, but for some reason it seems to come up in the back way too much. So this one's going a straight bag. It looked really nice on the model as well. So the one thing I don't love about, um, what is it called, Boohoo, is that they trick you. I'm going to get this out of the way because this is the dress that I want to wear for the wedding that I'm going to and I just need to know if I'm going to hate it or not so the material feels nicer instantly again comes with a belt which is good it's maxi so none of this bum should be on show hopefully it looks promising I think with some wedges or something dress this up um, it covers this area fabulously it's got a nice belt so you can kind of adjust to look at the best part of you it flows out enough that it kind of gives you bump coverage but it's not too much and it's got a nice little leg slit so I actually think this is really cute so this was like £17 so I think this is a win next items are two pairs of over the bump leggings uh, mega cheap and I just want to be slightly comfier so I'm going to see if I can locate a top in there that I can try these on with um, if any of you watch my H&M um, try it on if you didn't I'll link it below the leggings I bought were too small, um, way too small, so uh, yeah that didn't work. <laughs> um, and then I think I've got some tops here. I like the booth do this thing where you can get like the two basic tops, they're always really cheap. And these ones from maternity um, and they were flowy I think as well. And I've bought everything, ah I didn't realise they were sleeveless. I think I thought they had sleeves. This could be a no, but I'm going to use it anyway to try on the leggings with. But I bought everything like a bit bigger because everyone always says buy bigger when you're pregnant. And I don't think I really needed to. <laughs> leggings? Yes, they're actually a tiny bit big, but I would, I can go with that. I can feel that Bump has more room to grow in here. Um, comfy leggings. The top does nothing. If this was like had some actual sleeves, I might feel a bit better about it, but it just does not... It just looks like I'm wearing a tent, doesn't it, really? It doesn't sit in the right places. It does nothing for my figure, so... This will be a no. I'm disappointed because I thought, you know, basics, great. This is the next t-shirt, and this works way better. Um, admittedly, not with leggings, but it's that like slinky material that kind of hugs. It does come up a little bit on the bump, but... 
I would definitely at least wear this to be at home in. It's just stretchy, it's cool, it's so cool. This would be perfect for um, breastfeeding to begin with as well because you could actually kind of pull this down. It might ruin the top a bit eventually, but I mean, I'm not going to keep it forever. So, yeah, I think it's cute, just not with these leggings. Okay, the next item of clothing looks ridiculous. I've got high hopes for this, it better not disappoint. Um, but it's basically a maternity jumpsuit, but in like loungewear material. And I thought, after the birth, when I'm feeling uncomfortable, also just before the birth really, you know, just to be ultimately comfy. So I'm gonna try this on. Okay, so I haven't done up the top bit at the back because I haven't got the energy. Um, I'm undecided, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this down to you guys a bit. I love the top, I love the little tie, I like the way it makes the bump, bump look. It's a little camel toe inducing, but I actually think like after giving birth, would this not be the most ideal thing to wear home? So I might just keep it for kind of that, because I'll still have a bump, it'll just be a lot flatter because there won't be a giant baby in it. So. What do you think? Is it worth keeping or do I just look for something else to wear after? Next one, again, there's another dress. Bear in mind I'm pregnant in the summertime, so I've just bought lots of dresses and I would like something semi nice to wear for work. I love this. It's short still, like the other one, um, but there's a bit more length. It's good on the old wrong bra I'm wearing, but it's good on the cleavage. Um, again, it's got the tie, I haven't actually done it up. Let's just pretend. Let's do it up. So it's got the tie thing again, so you can like style it around the bump. I think this is really, really cute, and it's a nice stretchy material, and it's just cool for when it's warm. This will be perfect for when it's really, really hot, and I just need something light on. I think it's really cute, and it's nice. It's dressy enough as well. So okay, the next one is another dress. It's got another wrap around bit. I thought this was nice because it was slightly more dressy. Um, and hopefully good for work, but I might have bought it too big. And it's got some bell sleeves, which I love. This one is probably my favourite yet, amazingly. I didn't think it would be, but it's one of those really nice huggy dresses. Tie bit at the front so you can make a cute bow. Slightly, you know, veed here. Bell sleeves, super cute. And do you know what? You get hugs the bump really cute. These, this underwear I'm wearing is the wrong underwear. So bear with that. But it's nice because it goes down a nice way in the legs, so it covers up my big old thighs. I really like this, I think it's a really flattering, very fancy dress, I might even wear this to work tomorrow. And then another probably dress. <laughs> I love my stripes. I hope it's not a top, because I don't want to put my leggings back on. Yes, another stripy dress, which is quite good, because I hated the other one, so let's try this one. I don't know what's supposed to be happening with this dress. <laughs> But girl, it is not happening. The top had potential until it cut off here for the boobs. Sleeves are nice. I don't know what this is. <laughs> I don't fit in this dress. I don't know if I bought this too small or if it's just meant for tiny people, but this is a hell no. So I've gone for another trusty maxi dress, which I just thought I could literally wear this anywhere and everywhere hopefully if it looks nice on me it's really frustrating because clearly my boobs are just massive in comparison to most other people's but or something i don't know but this one again boob area isn't that generous but i think you can just about get away with it this i think i will keep because it's so comfy it's maxi length i really like the pattern it goes with this kind of bra so i just think great for work great for lounging around outside great for moving which i'll be doing in a couple of weeks great for all occasions and it was really cheap so i like this the next item was just a plain old bodycon maternity dress i just thought i'd try it and see what i think i used to like bodycon dresses because i have i can had an hourglass figure once upon a time um so let's try it on i mean it's cute it's fine Oh, I'm more comfortable in a maxi dress, probably, or some of the other ones I've bought, so I don't know if it's worth keeping. Let me know what you think. It's fine. I just feel like the movement I want in comparison to the movement I have from the last dress, don't love this as much. 
if I wasn't pregnant, this would be lovely. I'm just going to get close to the camera because I've just taken off my uh, dress. But um, I'm now going to try on these jeans and this jumper. I know it's summer, but I did buy a jumper because it's quite a flowy one. And it's England and sometimes it gets cold and the baby will be born in September. And it might be a bit cooler, but I'll still want to wear something baggier. So I bought this because it's quite lightweight. I hate this neckline. If this neckline was like, not here, <laughs> I might not hate it so much, but it just, it does nothing for me. It makes me like I'm wearing a bin bag. As with the jeans, they're a bit baggy in the leg. Um, I've had a pair of jeans that I really love, the jeans I was wearing at the beginning. Um, and I've only really had a couple of pairs of jeans throughout my whole pregnancy. Really love the light blue jeans, but from New Look, the ones I was wearing were. Um, these I think I like, they're just a little bit baggy in the legs, so they're not quite as flattering, but they are comfortable, so maybe I'll keep them, just need to have a little bit more of a walk around them. I do like the over the bump part, it's ribbed, it's really nice, so I think this is a nighty. two other items, <laughs> this is a nighty, and I just thought it was cute, I thought what can I take to the hospital? Um, and also what can I just wear online after I've given birth <laughs> and this I just thought was cute it's big it says mama bear on it and I just I wasn't gonna buy any pajamas then I thought do you know what I deserve a treat this has literally just oh this is the best this is the best thing I've ever put on in my life this I will be wearing until she's born and for long after I might actually pick out another one or two they had quite a few online and they're really cheap Oh my god, I might send some stuff back and get a couple more of these. They're the nicest material, so comfy and airy. And then the last pair is a pair of short pyjamas, because um, again, I'm really warm. I'd rather have shorts on and be able to put a blanket on than be dying of heat exhaustion. Um, and so they're nice, longish shorts. They've got pandas on, they're so cute actually. And it's a t-shirt. So let's try it on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Again, if you're gonna buy one maternity thing from, or one type of maternity thing from Boohoo, buy their pajamas. These are the most comfy thing. I bought these sorts of things in mind that I should probably save them until the baby's born, or like for the hospital. I'm definitely not saving this. This is the comfiest thing. Like, it's even better than the uh, than the nighty because it's just it's great love it <laughs> and uh let me know what you thought of this if you think it's worth buying the maternity clothes i'll try and link everything below so you can see the prices of them um let me know if you've bought anything from boohoo maternity wise that you really recommend like i would really recommend their pajamas they are so good <laughs> um, yeah so let me know and let me know if you want to see any more of these i think i'm going to try and do one that's like plot primark related but like not maternity because they don't necessarily have a maternity range but let me know what you'd like to see next and i'll see you all in my next video thanks for watching guys bye